Hi, I'm uh, Jeremiah Salaska. I'm the creative director of Fist Summer and also the co-founder. So our, our motto for making games is that we want to make games that you can't get anywhere else. And I think we've done that with Scribble Knots, with John to Life, and with Locks Quest, and we're going to continue to do that. I think what makes Scribblenauts so unique is the fact that you can literally write anything and it comes to life. I don't think there's any other game that really does that on the level that we do it, um, which is, I mean, it's just really amazing kind of uh, feat that our, our technical director, uh, Marius Falbach, kind of spearheaded when I came to him with the idea. So the actual uh, gameplay is actually writing objects which summon creatures or words to solve certain puzzles. Like, uh, for instance, there's the guy who's thirsty, he's in the desert, or he needs to be refreshed. So you could write, like, lemonade, or you could write air conditioner, or you could write glacier. It doesn't matter, he just needs to be refreshed. And then you'll get a star, right? and that, that lets you complete the level. So I came up with the idea back after we were doing Drawn to Life. I was looking for a couple new ideas, and I was like, well, I like the idea of drawing. That was really cool. And I still like the idea of doing more touchscreen input. So I was like, well, what else can we do? We can do writing. That was really cool. But there's no gameplay behind it. It was just you're writing like paragraphs and sentences. So on the bottom screen, you write like the dog is walking through the forest. And that's kind of interesting, but like, what do you do with that? So then I kind of uh, tied it with a puzzle idea where, and then made, and made it keywords. So there's no more paragraphs. So it's just like, okay, you write ladder and you'll solve a puzzle where there's a star right stuck in a tree and you have to get it down, you write ladder, that'll work. With the graphical style of Scribblenauts, we went through about 20 different uh, variations. It took us about two months to really get hone in on how the game's going to look, how Maxwell is going to look. I mean, we went through like, I don't know, like 40 different Maxwells or something like that. Just because we really care about the art style and, and how it looks to make it really unique. But also, it had to be simple. That was the big, the big caveat because we're making just thousands and thousands and thousands of objects. You have to make something that's simple and easy for all the artists to render without, you know, you know, we only have a year time, um, uh, year's time of development. Um, I, I love Cthulhu. I mean, who doesn't? It's it's a it's a crowd favorite, and I, I think it's awesome. Especially Cthulhu with a chainsaw and a top hat. You can do that. Why not? I really, really would like to have uh, more celebrities in the game. That would have been awesome. But you know, there's just so many different celebrities. You have to get their permission and royalties. It's just too much. But we got a lot of internet memes, which I think is still awesome as well. So you we got like keyboard cat, ceiling cat, lawn cat, lots of cats. Uh, so the best thing about Scribble Knots is it's literally for everyone. We made the uh, 220 levels divided between action and puzzle. Actions for hardcore gamers, puzzles for casual gamers, and the title screen is for anybody because there's no point. It's just you just screw around, have fun, and uh, the game comes out September. 15th, real soon. <laughs> um, what did you say?